Hello everyone. Uh, well, you've heard a lot about uh, Sharia and its impact. Uh, I'm going to talk uh, about the other side, the, the people who resist Sharia, who fight against Sharia. For the ca past couple of days, I've been checking weather, uh, grumbling to myself that it's going to be raining on the day that we're going to protest against Sharia. And added to that was the uh, closure of a uh, tube and all that. And coming here, I was thinking to myself, what is my trivial discomfort that I have? The way that uh, we, like, go in there for, to protest, to fight for a very, very important cause, comparing to what people in Iran, for example, or under the governments, under the Sharia governments are fighting for. Just, just think about those who go out millions of people in Iran who go out in the morning to protest against the Islamic government, knowing well they might not come back home, knowing well that they might be shot to death, knowing well that they might be beaten up, that might be taken to prison and tortured. But they go out, they go out frequently, they go out, they, go, they are arrested brutally, uh, tortured, raped, many of them. They come out, they go out again, shouting that torture and rape has no longer, is no longer effective. That we don't want the government, the Islamic government, the Islamic law, the Islamic rule. We want freedom and equality. And just imagine, imagine mothers that say goodbye to their, their loved ones, sending them to protest against, against Sharia law, against Sharia rule, against Islamic government, knowing well that they might never see them. I really don't find any words in, to, to describe the respect, the admiration for, for bravery that people are going through. And that's millions of them this summer, we have seen millions of people in of Iran on the st in the streets fighting against the government that is that is the most horrible government of the in the world. That is the pillar of the political Islam, and that is why our our gathering here is very important. We have to fight against Islamic movement against Sharia. We are, as Maryam said, extension of that massive movement. And we have to stand in solidarity with them. We have to support them because I'm telling you, if we, if we manage, if people in Iran manage to topple that government, the Islamic movement will be a lot easier to fight everywhere else in the world. If we manage to get rid of the Islamic government in Iran, believe me, you and me feel much safer going down the underground. Have less fear of the terrorist uh, activities and a lot of all those things that we hear today. You've heard a lot today about the Sharia, about the uh, religious uh, uh, courts and religious laws. And that is one of the front, our main important front to fight against that uh, against this horrible dark movement of our age and I, I call on you all to join this movement to to show your solidarity to people of Iran and let's just say how brave and how important their, their fight is thank you very much